So, uh, can you tell us about the most important message that you want to convey today in the panel discussion? I want to convey the message that um, so-called disability is, does not apply to just one sector of the community. We are all equally abled and disabled by technology and our relationship to it and therefore our relationship to the, the social world and to education. Mm -hmm. So that when we talk about making better and more um, assistive technology tools, we're not only speaking about people with disabilities, though they're an incredibly important group, mm -hmm. but we're talking about all of us mm -hmm. in the world in which we all live longer, we all have various things happening to us which require us to have new, better, um, different kinds of interfaces mm. to technology so that we can speak mm. and express ourselves, learn and relearn mm. as necessary. Mm. Um, so uh, one of my points is that disability is not a marginal issue and these assistive technology tools are for us all. Um, the most important thing about them is that they should be made available from birth for free to everyone who needs them. And until we get to that point, I think we're doing a huge disservice to all of us as a human race. Um, uh, most people with disabilities are, are not in a position to pay uh, extortionate amounts of money for a bit of hardware and some software which might be outdated and may not work and may need to be customized. Um, really what we need to do is work together across disciplines and across countries and in an open source model to create tools, hardware and software and customized ways of working with people in community settings to make sure that everyone who has a communication or education or a mobility need um, has that need met in a very specific way. So my, my basic pitch is that we should work together um, to create and provide free um, accessible and assistive technology tools. And when I say, I, I use this phrase, almost too late technologies, um, which is something that I discuss in the context of um, a partial rejection of the notion that there are um, just-in-time technologies, mm -hmm. just before it's too late for someone to learn, just mm -hmm. before. Um, often that just before is really, in some sense, almost too late. Mm -hmm. And for people who have never had a physical voice, mm -hmm. who have lost their ability to move, mm -hmm. um, for whatever reason, disability or, or cancer or stroke, mm -hmm. um, almost too late is almost too late. We should mm -hmm. be making tools available right from the outset of each person's life. Mm -hmm. um, and my real point is it's possible to do that. Mm -hmm. Most of the tools that our center um, use exist out there. We're finding ways to reverse technologies that are used for selling products mm -hmm. to make them communication tools mm -hmm. for people who need them. Mm -hmm. um, most of what we need to do is collaborate better um, and more deeply across community mm -hmm. um, and, and across the sectors. Mm -hmm. And my last point would be um, as an example of how we could do this very easily, mm. one of the tools that we use most um, with collaborators is, a, is an eye gaze technology mm -hmm. which has four infrared cameras that will mm -hmm. follow the eye movement mm -hmm. um, of anyone, mm -hmm. but um, which is particularly useful for someone who can't move any other part of their body. Mm -hmm. So that as you stare at the screen, okay. as your eyes remain focused on a letter or a sound, an image of a sound in music or whatever it is, a picture of an object or a picture of a person, mm -hmm. as you gaze at that, that object sound is heard out loud and or is written on screen mm -hmm. so that your eyes become your mouse or your interface mm -hmm. to everything for education and creative expression. Mm -hmm. Those tools could easily be used to activate gaming environments as well as learning environments mm -hmm. which um, all the companies could make mm -hmm. accessible on all the various gaming platforms. Mm -hmm. And um, just like the Nintendo Wii made movement um, interface mm -hmm. accessible and very cheap for all because mm -hmm. as soon as everyone buys a Nintendo Wii game, mm -hmm. suddenly the cost price, uh, the, the cost has come right down. Mm -hmm. If we made some games for iGaze technology, mm -hmm. all of us, and made them customized in local dialects with mm -hmm. local content, but, but encouraged the large companies to support cross-platform mm -hmm. development for iGaze control, mm -hmm. then everybody who needs eye gaze control would have it. Mm -hmm. And this would apply to any other interface with disability or for um, recovery um, in a re rehabilitative state that we can come up with. So basically, we can do it, mm -hmm. we need to do it, and we need to do it now. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your time.